let's switch gears to the Pixel Watch because we have floodgates have opened. Yeah. And we have uh, we got prices, a, uh, we, we got we, models, we got, everything. we got yeah, we got everything. So let's kind of run through some of the news. I mean, there's been a lot, but let's try to get the the base uh, cover our bases. So you're talking about like from the beginning? No, 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 no. Just, just this recent this stuff? recent stuff okay. with yeah. with all the Reddit leaks and all of that. Yeah, yeah, so a guy got the Pixel Watch, quote unquote, found it and well, he said his friend is a bartender. These guys were in there look like techie people and they just left it behind. Hey, I didn't don't buy that for a second, um, and I didn't buy it to begin with. And now that because he said the initial pictures are just him holding the watch, like the the just the main part, no bands, yeah, no bands. But he said, oh, you know, my my buddy's got the bands. He didn't he he kept those and didn't give them to me. So he the bartender, took, yeah. So the bartender took the bands off, yeah. Apparently for some reason, but he sent he sent over the pictures of the bands for the guy to to post on Reddit. Yeah. Because he shared his initial pictures with Android Central first. And so he gave Android Central the, the leak. Um, and uh, and so the, the bartender sends the pictures of the watch bands, which are very blue. And then a few days later, he posts, I finally got my watch bands from the guy, and they're very black. Um, so now this person apparently left not just the watch, but two sets of watch bands along with it, it at the bar. It is possible just likely not, it's not plausible <laughs> plausible no uh, tomorrow he'll be like oh by the way there was also a pixel 6a yeah Oops. he just hadn't brought it or, over yet. or the he charger just, he's I'm gonna joking. find the charger I'm magically joking. he left it in the ice chest oops uh so yeah i, I don't know it doesn't matter i mean he can make, no, a, make a point yeah. i'm sure how whatever way he came about this he probably was trying to cover his tracks or cover the person that gave it to him's tracks yeah why he has this thing? Who knows? I don't know. No one knows the actual story. Doesn't matter. Did Google give it to him or purposely get it in his hands? Maybe. You know, yeah. Because like, if he's a knows? dog fooder or whatever, and he just had an itch to to leak this, then he should have just anonymously sent photos to a news outlet and skipped all the narrative. There yeah. was no reason for a story. Yeah. So here's I mean, some pictures. It's clearly a Google Watch. Do with just, it what it, you will. It's it's just the, a story that keeps coming back, getting left in <laughs> yeah. a bar. Yeah. Why does like, that keep coming? Why is it, it? I think it did legitimately happen with the iPhone. I, 4. I guarantee you yeah. it did on that that, that was, first one, and then it, but then it became like, oh, that's the, the way we can. That's the way. That's the story. That's the narrative we can use right. to leak bar, things. restaurant, whatever. Ca- left like, it in the cab or whatever. Right. And so yeah. uh, somebody left it behind, like, oh, whatever. It is. It doesn't matter. Like he could be lying through his teeth, or this could be kind of there's no way it's 100 percent true because there's no way like he didn't even explain the fact that the, he has a picture on here of blue bands and now it's black bands like okay right. so where did the extra ones come from yeah did he also have those were those left behind like if it was true he would have said hey there were two sets of bands with this i left all of them with my buddy right. he's going to give me all of them and why wouldn't he have sent pictures of both of them like it just doesn't line up it, it doesn't, doesn't it doesn't have yeah. to it doesn't yeah, really matter exactly at the end doesn't of the really day matter. he's got his hands on this thing took pictures of it he Apparently doesn't have a charger uh, for it, um, and I'm guessing it's not going to be Chi or it's not set up at this point to do it. Excuse me, um, but he said he put it on wireless chargers. The wireless charger notices it for a second and then moves which, on. Which, which, which is the case with the could same be. Samsung yeah, watch. Could be definitely the case. I don't proprietary. Yeah, Chi charging may just take up too much room. It looks uh, like it'll work on my Samsung charger. Yeah, I, <laughs> who maybe. Knows? Uh, and the, and apparently the leak yesterday, the guy just said, it was like a general statement. Yeah, the partnership with Samsung is here or something like. So it that that's been pretty clear that there's some sort of Samsung chip inside of this. And so whether it's just going to be a standard Samsung Exynos like that's in the the Wear or the um, Watch Four, yeah, Four. The Galaxy Watch Four. It could be that. Um, it could be they could call it a tensor. They could tweak it a little bit, and it's a tensor SOC. I would like I think for them would, right. to do that. I would that too. would make way more sense. Yeah, uh, way way more sense. But you know, Samsung's helping them get this thing out the door for sure. Um, there's no doubt about that. Uh, but apparently, it's from the from his description. It feels premium, a la Apple Watch. The the buttons on it are very clicky. The crown, the digital crown on it is. He said it feels very similar to what the Apple Apple Watch feels like. Um, and then the leak yesterday, the guy said three to four hundred dollars is mm-hmm. the probable price range. I take that with a grain of salt. Um that the guy that leaked it, he's he's called some stuff before, but you know, he could have had a bad source like any of these things, like the source could be bad. The source could have heard something and right. it's outdated news. Don't know. Um 
But I could see it being 300 bucks. Yeah. I mean, how much is the Galaxy Watch without? Uh, I think the one that I picked up was, was it over three? Yeah, because I think I this think, one's 299 Yeah, and I think yeah. the larger one's 350 I, It's going to fall us, in line know, with Andrew. Galaxy Watch. It's going to fall in line with that Apple Watch pricing. That's what it's going to be. Um, it's not probably going to be a Fitbit type thing. No. Unless better processors, there's, more sensors, better build quality. Like unless there's this other version that is yeah, that's the, the other fit thing. version, yeah, right? Good Pixel Watch Fit. Uh, somebody asked the guy that leaked the stuff yesterday about that, and he said he's not heard anything legitimate about the actual yeah. fit. So who knows? Um, Do you find anything I mean, on pricing? It, it could just be one's a sportier model than the other. I yeah, mean, maybe yeah. one you can get traditional bands, and then the other one's like this more. Yeah. Sp- who knows? Right. Yeah, the forty-two millimeter is three hundred. Okay, so so what si- What are the sizing options? Uh, forty-two, forty-six. Yeah. So what's the forty-six? Because I got mine through the deal at T-Mobile, so I don't know yeah. what it costs. Um, but, but the cool thing is, like, if if the the uh, Pixel Watch comes out and I love it. I can just transfer that data line to that right. device and right. and get rid of the the wa- the Galaxy Watch. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, forty six is three eighty. Oh, okay. So, so that's that, perfectly in line. That's in line. Yeah, I mean, if it does everything that it should do and it's bearing the Google name, three hundred to four hundred dollars is not to me. If that's not unreasonable. Yeah, I mean, and if it's quality, the, the Tick Watch Pro, their latest models that have more RAM and the newer chip, they're in the three hundred dollar range, and they're great watches, not without their shortcomings. But that's what you expect to pay for a good smartwatch. Yeah, for sure. And it just needs to be good. It needs to be fast, and if it's got a similar processor as the Galaxy Watch. I mean, that's not yeah. a problem. And, you know, it looks like Google's going to have kind of their custom stuff on here. So this whole your health at a glance, your world at a glance, whatever. So they're going to take a, a page out of Fitbit's book and try to probably overlay this with glanceable, simplistic type of stuff on your watch versus I'm having to dig through my app list and all that. Crap. Like I, coming from Fitbit, like, yeah, every once in a while I'll swipe over to apps. But generally speaking, I don't like there's a swipe like I've got my complications here. I've got steps. I've got heart rate. I've got calories burned. I swipe up. And I've got more advanced stats for the day that are right there. And then, um, oops, clicked into one, sorry. Um, and then swipe down for notifications and swipe over here for quick settings. That's that's generally where I sit with my Fitbit. I don't have a bunch of apps installed. I don't care about any of that crap. Yeah. I want to know what time it is. How many steps have I taken? What's the weather look like today? Like, And I can put that in that little widget section down here and, yep. and, and move on. I'm, I'm going to like look at it and move on. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to spend time hanging out with my watch. Yeah. And so. Yeah. You know, Wear OS felt very, like, the little bit of time I spent with it, it felt like I really had to mess with there's, it a there's, lot. There's some settings you have to dig into. And so, like, if, sure. if Google can kind of solve that for Wear OS, it's like, it's going to be Wear OS under that. So, for all the people that are like, well, I like that. I want all those apps on there. I want to be able to do this, that, and the other. Cool. It's you Wear OS. Yeah. So, like, you know, I want to have a really good golf app. There's not really, there's one for Fitbit, but it's it's not great. Uh, there was a cool one I messed with with on the Galaxy Watch, and I'm like, I do like having that. That was cool to be out on the course and just be like, eh, I'm 150 in. You know, it's nice to glance down and just double check. And and so like, I, I want, I do want that stuff when I need it, but generally speaking, I want glanceable information. It feels like the Pixel Watch is going to kind of like do that. The best of both worlds, right? Yeah. Yeah. 